Hi, my name is Camelia Akami Keys, and today we are going to talk about kick drum pedal technique. I'm sure you've seen people getting those extra notes, da 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 da. How do they do it? Let's dive into it. So, as you can see, I am not using the heel toe, I'm using the ball of my foot to get those extra notes. So, take a look at your foot, okay? If you're a right hand foot, pedal drummer then you know take off your take off your shoe and take a look at your foot and just say thanks foot for being amazing and uh playing awesome uh patterns and having great independence so just be be grateful for your foot and uh, okay so the next thing is you know go ahead and take off your your shoe and uh figure out like what your foot looks like okay put your foot on the pedal um feel what it feels like to have your foot on the pedal socks or no socks whatever you prefer but um you're gonna be using the ball of your foot okay kind of where your big toe is if you go down there's like a little ball that's what you're using and, and you're almost using like a sliding motion Da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. So that is the technique that I use to get um, those those extra notes, like almost like diddles. Da -da. One e, two e, three e, four e. So I hope that helps. So here's me doing it with my shoe on. Okay. So um, I remember when I discovered this uh, technique, I was like, wow, this is really cool. But um, Sometimes you, you look at this motion, you think it's heel toe. I'm not doing heel toe. Like I mentioned, I'm using the ball of my foot. So really digging in where my uh, big toe is and kind of pressing down. And that's where the motion is coming from and that's where the drive is coming, okay? So um, yeah, it, so the technique is a little bit different when you're doing like uh, just straight 16s. Da, 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 da. So I'm not like doing the sliding. Here I'm doing more of a sliding, okay? And I'm coming back to get those notes. So here's me um, working on a uh, kind of like a rhythm, uh, kind of like a, almost like a, like a samba. But um, yeah, I'm kind of doing that sliding da -da, da -da, rhythm to, or a technique with my foot to play that rhythm over and over because uh, it's a very consistent pattern and you need to not have to worry about your foot uh, getting fatigued when you're playing um, that rhythm in particular, okay? So here's another close-up of what it looks like playing um, playing diddles or if you want to call them uh, sixteenths, uh, like one e da 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 da. But um, yeah, dig in on the ball of your foot, and you know, just go ahead and take a look at your foot and get familiar with what it looks like, and um, just kind of visualize what it feels like to have it on the pedal and in that motion. Okay, because you have to understand the motion in order to train your body to do the motion. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. Uh, please comment below what foot technique you use or what works for you. But um, yeah, I'm still exploring myself and, and trying to learn. And uh, if I can help someone along the way, uh, I'm happy to. So you might see people use the whole footboard and they'll slide up and down. I do that sometimes, um, but in particular talking about uh, kind of the slide da -da, da -da, right there. Okay, there's like uh, three or four different motions that kind of go into uh, how to play this and I'll dig in deeper uh, in the video. Um, a little uh, In the next session, I'll, I'll talk about how to do that. I'll take my shoe off and, and really help you guys understand the motion for these different techniques. Okay, so here's my foot and here is my toe. So you see my toes and that's the ball of my big toe. So the motion is happening between the toe 
and uh, the ball of your big toe, okay? So your toes, this, this is where that motion is happening. So I play heel up, heel is lifted, and this is what's happening, if you can see it. Okay, that's the motion right there. So none of this is being used. It's this area here from the toes, and this is where the the focus is right there. Okay. So here's a pedal, and this this is the motion. See how it's so heels lifted. The further you come back, so you can kind of do a sliding if you want to do. But I'm not doing heel toe. My heel is not being used at all. Okay, so like I mentioned, it's here and here. This is the section of your foot that's being used. Here's my here's my foot, no socks. Okay, right here, that's the section. We got the, the big toe. So it's kind of a sliding. I am not using my heel at all. If I was using my heel, what would I use? So I'm not using my heel. I'm using this. Okay? Once you understand this part, you're golden. Ball of your foot, toe. And toes. Hope that helps. going to quickly review some of the information that we went over in the video so far. To play doubles on your kick or cajon or whatever you're using as a bass drum. So um, many people wonder how you get double or like a diddle. Two hits, one, two. Um, so there's a point at which you're trying to get something so close, like almost two sixteenths right there next to each other. So there's like, um, I'm using my, like the ball of my foot. So kind of like right here. And uh, I'm wearing Vivo barefoot shoes. They, they make awesome uh, minimalistic shoes, uh, really help you stay close in contact with the ground and avoiding heels and anything that kind of makes you, you know, walk weird or, you know, makes your feet closer together. So these shoes really um, kind of expand, allow your toes to expand in the shoe. And you can check out the company. Uh, but these are the shoes I use and I love to play um, with these shoes when I'm, when I'm drumming. Um, so yeah, so you're trying to get two hits. So there's like a push One, two. And like I mentioned, I'm using the kind of the ball, the ball of my foot, which is right here. Sorry, I said here, but it's, it's here. The ball of my foot. I'm using the ball of my foot to kind of get that double. So you're kind of pushing
thanks so much for watching. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions or comments and uh, stay tuned for private online lessons on my website coming soon. Have a wonderful day. God bless. This is Akami Music.